It's a, the Ooh. black eminence. Let's go. This is an Aaron pick. This guy. He Me. picked this one out. This one. I did. So if it's bad, we're going to yell at Aaron. All right? And or we good, can. We're still going to yell at agree Aaron. We had different opinions. Yeah, but see, you, here's the thing you got to ask yourself. Before you go into, into this, okay, you got to ask yourself, which is more fun? Just going, hey, we have different opinions. Or your opinion sucks. They're horrible. <laughs> horrible. That's more fun. And it's ridiculous. And since now they know we're joking, we're going to go ahead and jump on into this. Let's go. I hate it. <laughs> Sounds like a garbage disposal. It did. <laughs> it did.
Okay. Mm. First of all, let's talk about those lyrics. What about the lyrics? All, first of all, let's just say that this is a topic <clears throat> that we've seen a lot. Yeah, I agree. It's like up there with Amni Affliction in the Oceans. You know what I mean? At this point, <laughs> the blackness is going to get you swallowing you. Um, now, that being said, I do not think there's a great lyrical depth to this song at all. I think the aim here is more atmospheric. Mm -hmm. um, I did enjoy the violin. I enjoyed the screams. I enjoyed his vocals overall. I still felt a little bored, slightly, but not in a bad way. I wouldn't say it's a bad song by any means. Maybe just a little long for my current my taste. Okay, but I think this is going to make a playlist just based off of the atmospheric vibe that it provides. Then again, I will say, if I I'll probably eventually go listen to that first album again, and if I find something similar to this, this was this will get axed mm -hmm. just because you know what I mean. But I, it's been all, so long since I've, I've listened to that first album, I don't even remember. But I remember liking the intricacies with the violin and stuff. Um, just been a long time. Yeah. I just like to see when bands kind of steer away from what's comfortable with songwriting. Um, like your typical song will have maybe an intro, verse, chorus, verse, bridge, chorus, whatever. You know, this song, I feel like they took their time going from like the intro to the verse and the spaces in between. And they were patient with it. So that even though there are some measures of not much happening, you can tell it's leading into something else. And I feel like the song itself, I listened to not for the lyrics, but for the journey. And it was almost like a journey through your own mental, healthy mental struggles. Um, and I could feel that their emotions were driving the song forward and not, okay, what, how long should this verse last? How long should the space in between the verse and chorus last? Like, they just went with their gut feeling and their intuition with what felt the best you know what like with how much of a crescendo they should have which how much space should they have how much impact they should have how much they should hold back i felt like i could definitely feel their conscious emotions in the song while they're writing it and they kind of followed them on their own journey instead of them trying to figure out what would sell or what would sound good Okay, I actually have a different opinion on that. I actually feel like they fully leaned into what would sell here. Really? Because this felt like a generic sleep token to me. Our Unprocessed, I believe the band's called. Um, they all kind of had those like really long songs. They get real atmospheric. Uh, now, I will say this is more of a score, in my opinion, than those songs would be. A score, that's a good word to use. Yeah. Like that, actually. Um, so, like, for me, it, this just was very, honestly chill mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. but i wouldn't say that it's super wholly unique or that it's exactly copying off that but there's definitely things in there like that are super popular right now especially like the guitar tone and the uh just overall atmospheric uh metalcore vibe is huge right now it's huge so um that being said, I will give them points because i think they kind of did a sleep tokenish sound before sleep token mm -hmm. Because that with the violin and stuff, that was at more atmospheric metalcore to start with. So that's why I didn't really say, like, harshly that it's copying there. And it definitely doesn't take points away. But there are um, definitely some influences are perhaps, uh, like, just stuff that is very popular right now within metalcore. I don't know if you'd call this metalcore even at this point, but... Metalcore doesn't know what metalcore is at this point. I've noticed that lately. It's getting very experimental, and that's cool. I actually <laughs> like that because mm -hmm. metalcore is known for getting into sections or years of the same sound. They all make the same sound. They change the sound again, and then it does it for a couple years, gets too overdone, and then just keeps doing that. I noticed that because I was out of the genre for a while because I got just bored and overwhelmed. Very Not lazy. overwhelmed, but just... Uh... Burnt out. Burnt out, yeah. And then when I get back into it, you're like, dude, you missed out on a lot. You got to check this you, out. You did. But, it, I mean, it's all good. It. Um, I don't think this is a bad track. I think it's still going to go positive for me. I think it'll fall around a flat six for me. Okay. And I will put it in a playlist as well. I think with me, other than my appreciation for the song itself, sure. as I really like the change they made from their last album, which I did not like. Not last good. album. Not good. It's had a very generic very, and uninspired. Very generic. So... That's half the reason why I really like the song is it shows a progression towards to a, a the better. future of their music. 
Uh, for me, it's a flat eight. Okay. Uh, it's my second time hearing it. Um, I still enjoyed it as much as I did the first time. Okay. So. Hell yeah. Well, thank you for showing that to me, bud. You're welcome. 